There is breaking news for XRP holders and the XRP token, and you guys got to hear this. It's actually pretty crazy. What if I told you you could pay your Morgan, your Morgan? What if I told you you could pay your mortgage, excuse me, through JP Morgan? <laughs> guys, I'm going to leave that in this video because that was too funny. You could pay your mortgage and your credit cards with XRP. Guys, this is true. This is a real story. Let's talk about it. Also, a great article about XRP today that I wanted to share with you guys of maybe why the price action isn't doing what we want it to do, despite the great news that we've seen about this token lately. Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Crypto Kip. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's talk a little bit about XRP in this video. So Bitcoin is uh, hanging out from fifty-six to $59,000, and altcoins right now are struggling. So why is XRP struggling right now and not breaking out after the XRP lawsuit is settled? Well, it's because the overall market's struggling, okay? So despite the excitement and the good things happening for XRP right now, Bitcoin needs to do the thing, and it just ain't done the thing yet. Now, let's talk about key targets in a bit. But first, let's talk about this story. So really great article here by Coindesk that, you know, gets into some of the weeds on what's going on. What's next in this SEC versus Ripple case, okay? So first off, close case. SEC versus Ripple is nearly four years old. Now it's over. Maybe. What? Maybe. It's true. It's true, unfortunately, we still need to see if they want to appeal this case. Either the SEC or Ripple, very unlikely that Ripple's going to appeal it because they won here, essentially, right? How can I say that? Because, you know, the SEC asked for $2 billion. They only need to pay $125 million. And so that's a win. I don't think that they're going to appeal. Oh, boy, lost my, oh, lost my spot. I don't think that they're going to appeal it because this is a win. So there are some penalties. You know, I, I don't want to get into this too much, but... But here's the deal, guys. You know, is there going to be appeal? Well, if the SEC does choose to appeal, or for that matter, if Ripple decides to appeal, right? It'll have 60 days from the ruling's publication to file a notice. So we're like, what, five, 10 days into this thing now? So we've got, you know, two months. Okay, let's just call it two months. And if we do not see appeal come out publicly in two months, well, guess what? That's going to be good because here's the deal, guys. I expect this total market cap to break out at some point in the next two months. August is almost over. We're halfway through the month. That brings us to September, which could be bearish. It could be bearish. If it's bearish, XRP could be bearish as well, unfortunately. Okay. But then October, people call it October, 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 November, typically pretty bullish. And then Santa rally, December. Ho, ho, ho. Let's look for the pump. You know, that could happen. If we go these next 60 days of this uncertainty, waiting and wondering, is there going to be an appeal? Is there going to be an appeal? Which I think is the reason for this lackluster price action right now. No, it's not crashing. It's just not pumping like people might expect it right now, right? I do think, in terms of targets, that this thing could easily rip up to the 74% pump price level of $1. And then if we break through, hey, we're going back to all-time highs for XRP. And look, guys. If all coins come down, we could easily tap down to this, you know, 45 cent level again for XRP. So let's keep an eye on Bitcoin. Let's keep an eye on the total market cap. But here, here's a couple of stories for you. Again, in the beginning of this video, I told you guys this. This is pretty crazy. JP Morgan Chase has officially announced that it is now accepting XRP for both credit card and mortgage payments this move is part of their broader strategy to integrate blockchain technology and digital currencies into their services. Now, this is a big deal. I was talking to my cousin yesterday. He's a big XRP bull. He's got a lot of XRP. He's going to make a lot of money when this coin goes to the moon, and hopefully it does go to the moon. And it looks good with them winning this case, right? With JP Morgan accepting XRP. But let's be real here. Let's be real. It's not just XRP. It is also Shiba Inu which is crazy. It is also BTC. It is also BNB. Sheev, XRP, BTC, and BNB fans are now able to cover their credit card and mortgage payments with their favorite crypto. This is awesome news. This is great news. This is great news for XRP. This is great news for crypto. Let's face it, folks. Crypto is more popular than it's ever been before. And when Bitcoin breaks into a parabolic bull market, which it likely will at some point in the near future, right? We're just waiting on that move. 
Let's look at August. Let's look at September. We could get an absolute pump. Now, I like to trade XRP. I think it's a great token to trade. I think the volatility is relatively predictable for this coin. If you want to trade it yourself, you can sign up for Blowfin, a no KYC required exchange. And uh, super easy to sign up for. you. If you deposit $2,000 into this exchange using our link in the description, pinned in the comment section for you down below, you get $300 to trade for free when you deposit that $2,000, up to $5,000 worth of sign-up bonuses, depending on how much you put in. I'm looking forward to the bull market for XRP. This is crazy awesome news that JP Morgan's going to announce, you know, they announced accepting XRP for credit card and mortgage payments. Same with Shiba Inu and all these other coins. That's great. Cryptocurrency is moving forward into the future. Politicians are talking about it more so than ever before. The cases are getting settled. XRP versus SEC looks like it's over. Ripple versus SEC looks like it's over. And this is good. It's not a security. We at least know that. But let's see if they rebuttal it in the next 60 days or so. Okay, so that's all I have for you in this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. DCA HODL. Not financial advice. It's not what we're doing here, guys. But we're going to keep you updated with all the breaking news in the crypto space. See you next time, y'all. Two videos for you here if you want to check them out. Peace. See you next time, y'all.